Babel Music, and we're here at Spin New York for another Hashtag King Sesh with Gabe Supporta from Cobra Starship. We're about to have a vicious ping pong match to decide who is the winner and who is the loser. Come on, let's go. So I think that we should have some stakes here. Yeah, definitely. Um, if I win, then you have to give me VIP access to your next show, and I get to star in your next music video. And then if you win, How about Taco Bell. With oh, seven layer burrito with Baja Deal. sauce. Great. Deal. It's very hard to play ping pong in New York because there's not a lot of space in New York to play ping pong. It's like when you're in the suburbs and you're just like, hey, let's go to my mom's basement and we'll play ping pong. Did you have a ping pong table in your mom's basement? Um, no, I didn't. We always had, we had drums in the basement. Yeah? Kind of drums and ping pong tables. Is that how you first got into music, was playing drums in the basement? Um, I think that's how everyone did, right? What was the name of your very first music project? My very first band was uh, was named Humble Beginnings. Humble Beginnings, which is a very apropos title. What happened to Humble Beginnings? You know, they I had only, a humble end. I got kicked out of that band. Really? Yeah. Were you the singer? No, because I was the bass player, and then that's why I decided to learn how to sing. So I wouldn't get kicked out of another band. So how did you learn to sing? Because I can't carry a tune. That's an amazing question that no one's ever asked me. And the answer to that is I joined the Glee Club in my first year of college. Really? Yes, that's how I learned to sing, I swear to God. That's a great question. <laughs> no one's ever asked me that. I need to join a Glee Club because um, I think people say, oh, everyone can carry a tune, but I literally cannot carry a tune. No, you'll learn in the Glee Club. And, you know, I went to Rutgers. It's not the choir. It's actually supposed to, it's more of like the drunk football players with like big beer mugs around the piano after games singing songs. Cause that's the vibe of it. So it's like, yo, on the banks of the old Rarata, my friend, where it was, cause ever more shall stand. For has she not stood since the time of the flood? Um, that's how you're supposed to sing. You learn these songs like, like Irish songs. So it's, that's, that's, whoa, that's really hard to sing. I think I fucked up the camera, is it okay? This is for the game. That's great. That's great. That was a great effort. Yeah. You really tried. I feel like well, you, you gave it your best. Thank you. Thank you very that was, much. I'm, I'm really tired from kicking your ass. Yeah, I'm tired from you kicking my ass. Yeah. So, you know, right now a lot of people are talking and really excited about your new single, Never Been In Love. Iconopop. Yes. You guys are single. Yes. Never been in love. Whose yes. idea was it? Did you approach them? Did they approach you? Uh, How did it all come about? Well, we actually we did a remix for them uh, of I Love It when that came out years ago. And so we kind of stayed in touch and we're on the same label. And um, it's very organic. Uh, our and our guy works with them too. So just like, okay, let's, I, you know, I'm just like, can we try and get them? He's like, yeah, let me start talk talking. It was very easy. What do you, like, how do you know that you're in love? Maybe it's cheesy, but I feel like people can do a lot for themselves by themselves, but there's a piece of them that can never be full until they meet another person. And when they f meet that person that they feel like, okay, they really feel completed, that to me is like love, you know? Love is also like, a lot of people think love is like, you know, it's big, oh, I love you so much, I want to do this, that, and then, oh, I fucking hate you, and I love you, you know, it's like, to me, it's like when when you get past that those up and downs, and you really can find like peace with someone and be like happy, just chilling with them and just watching a movie. And like you'd rather hang out. This is what love is. When you'd rather hang out with that person than be by yourself. 
That's, that's simple answer. That's a good answer. I'll know that. I certainly like my privacy and being alone. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Me too. I like my privacy and being alone too. So when I finally found someone that I was like, okay, I'd rather hang out with you than be alone always, no matter what I'm doing, except probably when I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. You know, <laughs> maybe even in the bathroom though, when I'm showering, I just want you to hang out, you know, like we can talk stuff. So, I'm sure I'm so um, what are your plans for the upcoming year? 2015 is just around the corner. What's going on with you and Cobra Starship? So I think um, I think the the best thing we ever did with, with the band is when we were able to all go away together and like we went actually to the mountains in Pennsylvania and just lived there for almost a month and I mean it's hard to escape cell phones but you know when you're just like focusing there's nothing else to do um, I think that's when the best creative stuff comes out so I think I want to do that again in January and just go um, and finish the record, um, maybe go to Joshua Tree. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for yeah. hanging out at our hang sesh. And, um, oh, I guess you're gonna be in my next music video for Gabe Rules. I can't wait. With a Z. Gabe Rules with a Z. Catered by Taco Bell, Seven Layer Burritos, Baja Sauce. All right, cool. Cool, Amy, thank you so much. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. On the banks of the old Rarotan, my friend, where old Rodko's ever more shall stand. For has she not stood since the time of the flood?